Hello everybody and welcome, this is Adrian, thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some Europa Universalis 4 as Sweden in our Sweden campaign. Okay, so, uh, it's the year 1524, we've gone through a period of unrest, but we're doing okay for now. We still have a lot of debt, I'm considering attacking Lithuania, um, possibly to just get some money from them. I don't actually know for sure. I don't know if I actually want to make a permanent enemy of Lithuania. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what would happen if we declared a war against him, but you never know. Ooh, the love of the devoted. Um, We're allied right now to Pomerania and Poland. I think I do want Bohemia as an ally as well. Who does he hate? Austria, Hungary, and Saxony. How does he feel about Pomerania? Yeah, they're kind of neutral. All right, I'll take Bohemia as a, as a defensive ally. We will need his help when we invade the empire later. So, fuck you, nobility. Fuck out of here, so I'm taking my base tax. So kick your ass. Um, This guy's pretty disloyal. Livonians. So we gotta integrate him soon. We won't take any royal marriages with our allies just because we don't want to make those permanent yet unless we feel like they need to be permanent alliances. And most alliances are never permanent. So, Lithuania is getting wrecked. It's actually still got about 30,000 men, though. Hmm. Obviously, attacking uh, attacking Muscovy is kind of out of the question right now. That would not be very smart. F fucking Novogradians. I would not mind getting up to the force limit and then paying off our debt, but I don't think we can afford it. So let's just let's just wait for these guys real quick. They're gonna come after me. New draperies in Bohemia. Damn rebels. There we go. Okay. Damn, dude, Lithuania is getting so wrecked. <laughs> Holy shit. That guy's getting destroyed. We can convert again. <clears throat> Let's convert once again. I do kind of want to hire an Inquisitor, but... I know probably for a fact that I can't afford it, so I don't think I'll even try. I just can't afford it. Right now, it's too expensive. We're losing some money because of our missionary. Holy fuck. Yeah, we are. Hmm. We may be able to embrace colonialism here pretty soon, but... Okay, so yeah, this missionary is definitely uh, kind of expensive. Mm. Trying to kind of figure out ways to save all the money that I can. I could get rid of one fort. If I was to get rid of one, I'd probably say this one. So let's keep the one in Skane. Then we have one in the Borg. That's for the Muscovites. But other than that, that's all I can really afford. I could get rid of this one in Raval as well, I suppose. Although if we get Estonian Separatists, they're going to get... Um, separatism pretty quick. Yeah, Lithuania is going to be dismembered right now. Son of a bitch. How much is it for... Hmm. So I spend basically 150 to lose one inflation or I have to pay 225 to get... No, it's not necessarily true. I'd actually, you know what we should do, because getting rid of inflation only costs 80, so 160 to get rid of 4 inflation, right? So, it's 160 to get rid of 4 inflation versus 150 admin, basically, to get rid of 1. So we're just going to take this, and then we're going to click this button twice, and we're back at 5.31. Let's just get rid of, this gets, gets rid of 2. Yeah, that's right. The Council of Hunt. His Holiness the Pope has tasked a commission of cardinals with addressing the challenges posed by the Protestant movement. Ooh. Let's see, I got a comment in the Twitch chat. This is my first time watching on stream and I watch on the channel. Considering the time period, I'm surprised you haven't expanded more. Yeah, man, it just takes time, you know. Uh, Rome wasn't built in a day. <clears throat> I appreciate that, though. Thank you. That means a lot. 
Um, I do what I can with what I have, you know? What are you gonna do? So this guy's- this guy's liberty desire is going down. Legitimacy's finally kind of sort of taken care of. Prestige is okay. Um... Pomerania still wants a royal marriage, which I will not allow. Let's take a look. Hmm. The war, the war between these guys is over. What was the peace deal? Can I see it? Well, how strong is Lithuania? Yeah, he's got 24,000 men, no manpower. I mean, I've got manpower, I just don't have any money. And I don't think going to war for money maybe is, a, is the smartest thing. So maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just hold off on it. I wish I could convert maybe a little faster. What's our religious unity right now? 65%? Jesus. It's pretty horrible. It's actually orthodox that, that might take a bit of a, a bit longer to, um, to convert. Let's see. Real strap B is flooding me with bits. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> Catholic Zealots again, really? Son of a bastard, where are they? 19,000 in Ostergotland. Oh, you fuckers. Yeah, it's over here. It's forest too, so we're gonna have to hang out there for a little bit. That was fucking weird, did you see that? My army like disappeared. <laughs> oh, that was weird. That was kinda cool. I'm wondering, when can we annex the Livonians? I don't even know anymore. Is, okay, so is there anything we should take here? Your legitimacy, national unrest is tempting. National unrest minus one is tempting. The manpower recovery speed is tempting. Your legitimacy and yearly prestige for sure would be fucking awesome. Um, missionary strength we already have. Discipline's okay, 2.5% would not be bad, but I think we do need the national unrest right now, just to get rid of the unrest, or at least to slow it. Because of our legitimacy, our prestige, and our religious unity, not to mention our heir, or our, our monarch is cruel, so plus 2 unrest. Decisive defeat of the enemy, we lost about 4,000 good Swedes though. Wow, our general, our general's trait, he's a master of arms, so he gets infantry combat ability. Plus 10%. That means that our troops have 40% infantry combat ability under his command. <laughs> That's cool. Um, prestige per development for missionaries, 0.3. We're actually going to take that, I think. Because, since we're converting now, every single conversion will give us point, 0 0.3 prestige. Which, you know, like say we convert like a 10 development province, that's like 1 or 2 prestige right there. That That really adds up very quickly. Um, I don't have the money to embrace this, so I'm thinking we take these ideas. I get discipline, and then I get religious ideas. I don't want to do this, but I think I will. Because we need to convert this shit faster. It's expensive. Hey, Bohemia, thank you for giving me stuff. Cool, he's, he's kind-hearted. <gasps> Beautiful. Poland is no longer a, uh, great power. Cool. Cool. Okay, we're finally paying off this damn debt. I'm willing to spend admin points now because we're gonna be embracing colonialism here pretty soon. The real question is, should I just take some, should I debase the currency? Oh, come on, you know I want that army tradition, but we already have three generals, so I'm gonna have to decline. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, actually, Comedia del Arte, I'm willing to take. Yeah. I'm willing to take that. Let's see, I got a question in Twitch chat. Have I ever done a pressure run, or are you planning on doing one? Am I, am I planning on doing one? Have I done pressure? I've done a, I've done a Teutonic Order, and then I did a Brandenburg to Germany game. I don't think I've done pressure specifically, and no, I don't plan on doing one. Um, there's plenty of... Prussia Let's Plays out there, I don't know. I, I don't really see the big deal about Prussia. It's, it's like, it's cool, but... I personally think there are more interesting countries to play as. Like, everybody's seen Prussia, man. We all know what it is. <laughs> you know? I'm not even sure if I've ever played Prussia on, like, Victoria 2 or anything. I don't think so. 
Finally, we're doing okay. We're doing okay on money and manpower and unrest and all sorts of shit. Let's see. <clears throat> When can we go for an administrative monarchy? Admin take 12, right? Okay. It's quite a, way, quite a, quite a ways away. Mm. I'm trying to think what to do here. Six Hmm. I could debase the currency. How much? How many times would I have to do that though? 141? Let's take a look at the calculator. I need 627. And every time I debase the currency, I get how much? I get 141. So. Divided by 141. I'd have to debase the currency five times, which is 10 corruption. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's quite a bit. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> Let's see. I got a question in the Twitch chat. Uh, I have about 1,750 hours in Europe Universal 4, and I'm starting to run out of unique ideas. 1,750 is nothing. It's nothing in this game. I would say go for achievements. Anything that has an achievement. Um, like, I'm going for Sweden, you know, and we're going for... Uh, where the hell is it? It's going... It's Line of the North, right? Line of the North, yeah. Lead the Protestant League to victory, and then it's also... Sweden is not overpowered. Like, I've never done those, but, I don't know, they're fun to do, I guess, so. I figured, why not? <laughs> right? Um, this is gonna take forever to pay off this debt, dude, for real. Denmark, who are you at war with, dude? Mm. I wonder, what if we declare war in Denmark? Does my navy need to be upgraded? No, I do need more galleys, though, before I went into war. I would need more ships, I need more men. And we can't afford that, really. Mm. So, about this, about this institution, 620, 26. I just... I don't know. I, like, what do, what do I do to get this institution? I could take a loan. I could take loans, but even... That's that's really expensive. Holy shit, what's happening to France? Damn, I thought he'd be uh, more far along in his consolidation by now. Mm. As soon as I can get this guy placated, we'll annex him. Ooh, yes, please give me money. Shit, I need money right now. Clergy, you guys want to... Well, I can go to the burgers. I can grab Monopoly Charters and ask for a contribution. Although, it doesn't really seem worth it. 44.77 ducats for 10 loyalty? Oh, you bitch! No! Must be supporting the independence of the Livonians. Fuck you, man! You fucking bastards. Pomerania, Bohemia, and Poland versus Muscovy and Livonians? Fuck no, we would not win that. This guy's got manpower. You bitch. Ah, this is gonna suck. He's gonna declare an independence war. You fat bastard, man. Let's make sure the army is fully reinforced. Although, this might be pretty bad. <laughs> He's mobilizing. Let's get troops to Vavorg. Where is he going? He's going towards the border. Yeah, he's going to declare it. If I can take this military tech 11... That 
God damn it. Okay, so the decision is we either do, we either root out corruption or we pay back a loan. But I think I need this. I think I need this institution like right now. I don't think I have a choice. Hmm. 624.21. This is 150.300. So basically, I take four loans. Four loans at 10% interest. I could just take loans. It'd be really unfortunate, though. It'd actually be really expensive. It'd be very expensive. Definitely be something that we couldn't afford. Fuck! Ugh. Pomerania actually refused. Okay, yeah. Desperate times, desperate measures. Let's do it. I have no choice. We have to take it. Come on, bitch! Let's see what you got! Wait till he locks in. Uh, Nobility, can you give me some points, please? Granted generalship. Who's our general right now? We have a 4-3 we have a four, three, or a 6-1. I'll take the 4-3, actually, because they shock. Minimal to support. Yeah, I don't think I have a choice. Almost. 15-31. Barely a year. Okay, so we stack wipe the Livonian or the, the um, stack wipe the Livonians. Okay, so we got Bohemia and Polish troops moving into my territory. Um, I will grab four infantry. We will grab them and a siege leader. I guess any one of these guys will do. We'll put him over here on the capital. Um, what I possibly could do is take Ocel and hang out there for the straight crossing. The thing is, is I can't reinforce. This guy's moving to engage, isn't he? I think he is. Are you shitting me? Poland, get the fuck out of there. No, Poland. Don't stay there. Don't take that battle, you bitch. God damn it. Yeah, he's gonna take that fight. Oh my god, Poland, you're gonna get fucking stack wiped, man. You crazy bastard. If I take, yeah, if I take this tech here, inventory shock, cavalry fire, combat with, we would probably decimate those Muscovite troops. But right now, that is not the case. If the Bohemians... That's a real good question. I'm actually willing to attack this guy. If this guy... This guy's was up north. He's way up north. Let's see what he does. I will actually attack him here. I'll actually sally forth from the fort as well. Oh my god! Look at this guy's morale! 5 morale to my 3.7. Holy shit. Now, I do have 105 discipline, which is pretty good. Holy fuck, though. Damn it. If we took, if we took quality ideas, we can get actually um, another discipline, man. But holy shit. <laughs> that is fucking gnarly ass damage. Then again, we do have infantry combat ability, so I don't know. I actually wouldn't trust that much in the Muscovite troops, I guess. He's actually gonna attack me here. Um, I can't withdraw, can I? No, I don't think so. I could try. So he's gonna attack me here. He takes a minus one. It's gonna come down to rolls. He got a negative one to a four. A nine to a seven. He outflanks me a little bit. 
Damn, we got an 8 to a 5 in the shock phase. He's going to reinforce even more, but Bohemia's going to bring in reinforcements as well. We get a 4 to a 3 in the shock phase. I don't think Bohemia's going to get here quick enough, though. Fuck, yeah, he reinforced way too quick. When do they get here? 4th of February? 5 days of, of combat? No, hell no. Wow, we did kill a lot, though. Holy shit, we lost five, no, 6,000 Swedes to kill 14,000. 14,000 Russians. That's impressive. That's really impressive. Let's give Poland this objective here. Poland, can you take that fort? And if you want to take that too, go for it. Yeah, I mean, we do have a little, yeah, we get a little bit of, you know, we have a little bit of money and a little bit of manpower. So in theory, I could probably, ooh, we just got a balanced research. That's unfortunate. Again. Yeah, I might be able to get that Diplo tag though. Jesus Christ, we're 13 years ahead on military tech. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Pretty crazy. Um, I say, I mean, I think we can be okay in this war. This guy's losing manpower pretty quickly. If we can keep him off sieges, I think we'll be just fine. We could probably take on his troops fairly well. We're gonna go into some serious debt, more so than we already have. That's going to be kind of a problem, but if I can keep him off sieges, we'll be fine. Let me just replenish all the way first, Jesus. Yeah, if we take this, we'll be okay. This guy's at minus 2 stability and 7.3 war exhaustion already. Fuck. I'm trying to keep him off these sieges. I'm actually going to hold off on the, on the conversions right now. This guy's a lot of men. I don't know. I, I, honestly, I think Muscovy is actually not... If you play your cards right, especially in this winter... Like, we're about to be in winter again, and especially in this forest territory, like, Muscovy takes just, like, stupid amounts of attrition. So if you play your cards right, you can actually really hold off for a long time against him. But you just gotta pick the right fights. You gotta pick the right battles, you know? Like, this guy's going to Kexholm right now. He's, he's, you know, locked in. Damn, we actually didn't miss him, though. That's unfortunate. Muscovites attacked Polish troops up here. We have taken Leafland. Okay. Now, I don't really want to be in any sieges. I kind of want to just support Poland. If, if Poland wants to take the sieges, then I will support him in those sieges, but... I don't want to have to take the sieges myself, because we really can't afford the manpower too much. Our manpower can be drained pretty quickly. So, we're making okay money, actually. We're not doing too bad. He was just attacked here, though, which is unfortunate. Those troops are going to be routed. I may be able to take on the Muscovites, though. I don't know. He's got a pretty large morale advantage against me. Um, if I take this, we get discipline, which would be 110 discipline versus the Muscovites. Let's see what he's up to. God damn, Bohemia, what the hell are you up to, man? Let's go and accept a white piece. If we can get a little more war score, we can actually hold out for a while. Oh, God. An Ing Merlin right here. Fuck. I'm gonna go put that over there for a while. Um, what to do here? Jesus, Riga, you're allied with Poland and fucking Hamburg? Not for too long, I hope.
I think I do just take a piece. I think I do just take a piece. I don't know. I mean... Jesus Christ. We have 16 corruption. <laughs> yeah, I think we do just maybe take a piece. I don't know. Hmm. Let's go and take some more debt, I guess. But, I mean, Bohemia and Poland are not going to last out too much longer. Yeah, this guy's got loot enthusiasm already. Let's go and attack this stack, and I think we should be okay to take a piece after that. It's going to be worth some war score, which is nice. Yeah, we already, we already hold Leafland, so, I mean... Um... Muscovy is very unlikely to take a white piece. <clears throat> let's take a let's take a look at this battle here. Damn, son, pretty decisive defeat. Holy shit! Hey, your king died. Holy shit! We have better legitimacy now. Let's go and boost this real quick. Let's take another mission. Conquer Livonia? Yeah, I'd like to. Dude, we fucking killed so many Russians in that battle! This guy had 16,000 men. He came out with less than five. Holy shit. That is pretty gnarly. Get rid of that. Give me all your money. Whatever you can give me. Give me war... Well, alright. I know your shoes with Muscovy. And give me money. And this guy will remain a subject. This guy will remain a subject. And now he's loyal. That's right, bitch! Don't give me none of that shit! <laughs> the fuck out of here, man. I can integrate him now after uh, we get to 100 relations. We're also a great power, which is kind of cool. Okay, that was actually a relatively painless war. We actually did pretty good. Yeah, we can repay the loans now. Let's go and have some missionaries. Start converting some shit. Incorporate the Livonians. Damn straight. And we can prove our relations. Um, he's pretty loyal now. Yeah, he's pretty loyal. He's got he's got no liberty desire. Lost independence war. That's right, bitch. Shit. Don't give me none of that shit. Yeah, Bohemia and Poland actually really came through on that one. That was cool. Uh Pomerne, you fucking suck because you refuse to call, so I'm not gonna analyze you anymore. Uh we need to declare war in Denmark. We need to declare war in Denmark. Let's in, let's integrate the Livonians though before anything else. We can because we want to attack. Preferably we want to attack the um Lithuania pretty soon. Just take a few things. <clears throat> so we're getting war reps? No, why are we making so much money? Legitimacy? I guess. That would make sense. Income from vassals? It might actually be income from vassals too. This guy's giving me almost a duck in a month. That's that's quite a lot. All things considered. I think we need to focus on uh, on admin now. We have a 240 king. That is fucking horrible. That is super unfortunate. Let's go and take, um... Fuck you, Pomerania. Let's go and take a royal marriage with... Well... Hmm. Actually, not quite sure. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm going to take a break here. Actually, yeah. Let's take a break here. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.